Greetings, Redheads. Thank you for joining me in another episode of your favorite show, The One and Only Reds View. Of course, I am your gracious host, J Red. All right, before I begin this video, do me a favor make sure that you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. You see it scrolling across right here. And also make sure you hit the like button or dislike button and help the algorithm out with this video. All right, man. So, in case you've been hiding under a rock, man, Diddy, Diddy, Puff Daddy is what I used to call him. He's in a whole heap of trouble. Oh, my God. I didn't even see it going this far. But Diddy has been on the headlines for sex trafficking allegations. That's right. The feds have raided his three homes. I don't know if he owns any more homes, but three homes uh, located in L.A., Miami, and New York. So much to where they handcuffed his own children. Now, I don't know about his daughters, but I know his son, Justin and King Combs, were put in handcuffs. Um, they were detained while there. Um, and Diddy was nowhere in sight. There was speculation that he was on the run, like fleeing the country, which we found out that is not true. That is cap. Uh, Diddy was seen roaming around a Miami uh, airport. There was rumors that he wasn't able to travel. But anyway, before I would get into all the, the, the whole spill about the sex trafficking and all that stuff, his lawyer released a statement. And I'm going to share my screen with you right here. And it said this unprecedented ambush paired with an advanced coordinated media presence because the media was there leads to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs and is nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in civil lawsuits. There has been no finding of criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. Uh, this was the beginning of it. My bad. So he said yesterday there was a gross overuse of military level force as a as search warrants were executed at Mr. Cone's residences. There is no excuse for the excessive show of force, hostility, blah, 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 blah. So you see all this stuff, right? All right. So forgive me for that. Um, so, yeah, basically, his lawyer is saying that with all the civil lawsuits that's going against Diddy right now, it's made him red hot in the media. So the feds, which caught me by surprise, raided his homes to try to find any evidence of sex trafficking, sex trafficking, uh, because I believe Lil Rod, that producer who's suing him, um, said that it was some sex trafficking going on from my understanding, because I didn't read the whole document. But be that as it may, it made me wonder, like, First off, I'm not going to talk any mess about Diddy because I think this is sad. Nonetheless, this is sad to see a black man of his stature because that's what we have to look at first. And I'm talking to my black folks. Uh, it just it's it just keeps proving itself over and over again that no black man of that stature walks out of Hollywood, walks out of the mu music industry, the entertainment industry. If you're that powerful, that big, you don't walk out squeaky clean. You don't walk off squeaky clean. Now, we've seen that from Bill Cosby. We've seen it from just a whole bunch of different people. So it just made me just raise my antennas on like, is it really that? And to see what his lawyer's response was, I was like, OK, is this just an overreaction? Uh, because Diddy has not been arrested and he has not been charged with sex trafficking. He has not been arrested. He's not been detained. He is not in jail and he's not been charged. So let's put that out there. Secondly, figuratively speaking, if Diddy did do this, did he do it? Did he not? I'm not sure. I don't know. He hasn't been charged with anything, but let's say figuratively speaking, he did do it. Oh, it's people coming down with him. Who's all going down with Diddy? Who is all going down with Diddy? Because if you haven't noticed, a lot of people have been tight lipped. Uh, the only people I've been seeing talk about him continuously haven't been his peers. It's just been that Gene dude. I think he used to be a security guard. Mark Curry, who used to work for uh, Diddy. He was, used to ghostwrite for Diddy. And, you know, he wrote a book about Diddy years ago. And 50 Cent. It's just been those three. Now, everybody else has really just been kind of like talking trash and talking shit about Diddy. But it hasn't really been anybody of his peer groups you haven't seen rick ross come out and say anything you haven't seen usher come out and usher was named in the lawsuit you haven't seen usher coming out and saying anything none of his peers and nobody he's affiliated with has came out and said anything that was detrimental to diddy 
which makes you wonder if Diddy goes down, because that's what I've been thinking. If Diddy goes down, how many other people would go down with him? You got to seriously think and think about that. You got to seriously think about that because, and hold on, I'm plugging my, my uh, laptop in. Give me just a second. Had to plug, had to plug my laptop in, but uh, it makes you just wonder who all will go down with him. And I was watching different people's, different people's reaction and people are just like, is he going to go Nino Brown? Is he going to uh, tell everybody, you know what I'm saying? Is he going to go Frank Lucas? Is he going to be, be, be just tell, bringing everybody down with him? Because man, you just look at the affiliates that he has and everybody is just, the media has been talking about Diddy, but it has not been his peer group. Um, you know, you haven't seen Mary J. Blige. I could go on and name a whole bunch of celebrities because Diddy wasn't partying by himself. And you got to think, how will this trickle down? If you chop off the head of the snake, and this is if Diddy was sex, sex trafficking, if he does get in trouble, how many people will this affect? How many careers will this affect? You got to really, really look at this. Because something tells me that no people are really shaking in their boots right now with this whole Diddy stuff. Now, could be a situation where he's innocent and all these allegations just came in the feds. But one thing about if the feds are coming and raiding your homes like that, it tells you something. And I had no I like I had an idea because I was like, OK, he may get Bill Cosby and everything like that. But I wasn't sure how far this was going to go. I thought it was just going to be, you know, a smear campaign to just talk trash about Diddy, just keep building up, building it up. But what happens is there's a smear campaign that starts. There are documentaries that come out, R. Kelly, different things like that. And then, boom, they can throw a Rico case on you like they're doing now. They're gearing up for a Rico case. And then all hell breaks loose. Now, the difference between r kelly and diddy in this particular situation is diddy has the financial backing to actually fight this oh yeah diddy is billionaire status so i'm not saying he has a billion dollars in his account but diddy's billionaire status so he has enough money to fight this off so for those who are thinking oh it's over with diddy's about to go to jail blase skip oh it ain't over it ain't over with i, I don't think that he's just automatically about to go to jail now, Bill Cosby was taken down, and Bill Cosby was damn near a billionaire, if not one. But you saw what happened with him. They took him down, but he got out within a what a couple of years. So, and that was some BS that uh that that they did, the court system did. So they had to let Mr. Cosby out. But with this Diddy thing, uh, we just we're just gonna have to see how it goes. But my question is who all was involved? Because if Diddy's going down, some of your favorite celebrities will go down as well. Keep that in mind. Who all was involved in it? Because you got to think all those parties, all those people that are networked with Diddy. And you also uh, it reported that he sold off all of his shares at Revolt. Revolt is a media company that he founded and he sold off all of his shares. So he is not associated with Revolt, which is a smart move. Now, recently, WWE chairman and owner Vince McMahon had to do the same thing with all the stuff because he's accused of sex trafficking in a lawsuit no criminal charges have been brought on him but man it's a lot going on with that so i understood why diddy had to do what he had to do but uh man it makes me wonder and my whole thing is i'm not about to join in on the media bashing diddy because like i said that is a black man and it's sad nonetheless i don't care if you don't like diddy or the situation as a black person, you have to always question things. You always have to look at the different, look at it from a different lens because we know how this stuff all turns out. We know it. So I can't sit here and co-sign that. If whatever charges are brought up, if they find any evidence and this man is charged and he's held a trial and he's found guilty, if, if he is guilty with any of the crimes that he is going to be uh, charged with, because that's where it looks like it's going. Like they're building up this thing for the Rico, a Rico case. But I think with his resources and his money, Diddy can fight it. Now his career is, is done. Everything that he was doing prior to this is done. Like I'm talking about music career, all that stuff, right? The only thing I could see him doing, I mean, he could still be a businessman. I could see him going on tour possibly, but keep in mind, this man has not been charged with anything. Everything is allegations. 
you have to say allegedly. So for those pointing the finger at him and scrutinizing him and stuff like that, don't speak too soon. He's innocent until proven guilty. That's how I feel. I I don't know what would happen. You know what I'm saying? But I did feel like the Lil Rod case, this civil lawsuit that Lil Rod was putting on him, I thought that was cap. Definitely thought that was cap uh, with some of the stuff. But I could be wrong. We don't know. But rest assured, if Diddy goes down, other people will go down with him too. So that's the question. Who do you think is all going down with him? Now, 50 Cent has been going on a tangent talking about diddy he's been sharing all the up uh the updates regarding diddy and stuff like that and he even threw jay-z's name in the mix that's what 50 cent did talking about where's jay-z is he missing so it makes you wonder how deep does this go because we know how it how it happens man if you cut off that head of the snake everything else stops everything else stops and diddy is at the height he's at the very very top the tip top so it just makes you wonder. Now, Cat Williams, people keep referring back to Cat Williams saying everybody's getting exposed this year. But, oh, the plot is going to thicken. The plot is going to continue to thicken. And I'm just wondering how far it could go. Now, let me know in the comment section what you think about this. Do you think that Diddy, uh, what, I don't really want to know if you think he's innocent or guilty or not. Just my question is, who do you think will possibly be going down with him? You know, do you think it's more to the story? Or if you have any updates, let me know in the comment section what you think, because I didn't think that it was going to go this far. I just thought that they were just going to um, build up cases to drown him, you know, try to drown him out. And people just, it's, it's a money grab. But now that they're having the sex traffic and stuff going on, man, I could just say, I hope it's not true because love him or hate him, Diddy is pivotal in this culture that we call hip hop. A lot of stuff in this culture couldn't have happened without Diddy, and I'm going to keep it a buck. Bad Boy Entertainment gave us a notorious B.I.G. Uh, Bad Boy did so much for the game, put up so many people, you know, so many people's careers and stuff like that. But uh, black folks especially, you shouldn't be laughing too hard, and we should really just wonder what's really going on. Is this just a shakedown? What are they really trying to do? Who did Diddy piss off? That's what I want to know. And it, it was it was just very sad just as a person to see someone's children, you know, even though they're adults, his children were locked, were uh, put in cuffs. His children, that made me feel a certain type of way, you know what I'm saying? And I, that just didn't sit well with me. So let me know in the comments what you think. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel, which is YouTube.com slash ResView. And also make sure that you follow me on all social media platforms at J-A-Y-R-3-D. This is J-Red. See you soon.